Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours morning prayer for Friday, August 19th. Today we celebrate St. John Hughes, a priest of our church. Let's have a moment of silence as we begin our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Renew in me a steadfast spirit. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, that in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O oh God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show your favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Renew in me a steadfast spirit.
Rejoice, Jerusalem, for through you all men will be gathered to the Lord. Let all men speak of the Lord's majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, holy city, he scourged you for the works of your hands, but will again pity the children of the righteous. Praise the Lord for his goodness and bless the king of the ages so that his tent may be rebuilt in you with joy may he gladden within you all you who are captives all who were ravaged may he cherish within you for all generations to come a bright light will shine to all parts of the earth many nations shall come to you from afar and the inhabitants of all the limits of the earth, drawn to you by the name of the Lord God, bearing in their hands their gifts for the King of heaven. Every generation shall give joyful praise in you and shall call you the Chosen One through all ages forever. Go then rejoice over the children of the righteous, who shall be gathered together, and shall bless the Lord of the ages. Happy are those who love you, and happy those who rejoice in your prosperity. Happy are all the men who shall grieve over you, over all your chastisements. For they shall rejoice in you, as they behold all your joy forever. My spirit blesses the Lord, the great King. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Rejoice, Jerusalem, for through you all men will be gathered to the Lord. Zion, praise your God, who sent his word to renew the earth. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wall. He scatters horse from like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth, the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not told them his decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Zion, praise your God, who sent his word to renew the earth. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. I have been crucified with Christ, and the life I live now, it's not my own. Christ is living in me. I still live my human life, but it is a life of faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good morning, everyone. 
this is Deacon Ephraim and I'm going to be uh, doing a short reflection about the reading of this morning it's a great pleasure to be with you uh, my dear brothers and sisters uh, the reading for today St. Paul is telling us in a way he's reflecting the way he's expressing himself the way he feels about being uh, close to Jesus he was called by Jesus to be one of the last apostles and he says I have been crucified with Christ and so you and me as, as, a, as a baptized as a Catholic we've been crucified with God in baptism we share that part we die with Jesus and we can uh, resurrect also with Jesus so our sin it has been crucified with with Jesus in the cross that's why he died for us that's why he died for you and me he died at the cross that we can crucify our sins in the cross that we are being redeemed by him by his love even though that we live in this uh, fresh of, of, of us as every day and we make mistakes daily and we try to live a, a life that is close to him but even though those mistakes that's coming up in our in our life we try to fix them up we try to walk better with him in a in a relationship that is very personal him and me because we understand that Christ lives in you and me Christ lives in me through baptism through baptism God comes to be part of me Jesus has become part of me every time that I take the Holy Communion the body of Christ he is with me he is in me even if still like a human life but as a Paul as a Saint Paul said but it's a life of faith in the Son of God that is Jesus Christ our Savior peace be with you The Lord, the Most High, has done good things for me. In need, I shall cry out to Him. The Lord, the Most High, has done good things for me. In need, I shall cry out to Him. May He send His strength to rescue me. In need, I shall cry out to Him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord, the Most High, has done good things for me. In need, I shall cry out to Him. Through the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Through the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. We trust in God's concern for every person He has created and redeemed through His Son. Let us therefore renew our prayer to Him. Fulfill the good work You have begun in us, Lord. O God of mercy, guide us toward spiritual growth. Fill our minds with the thoughts of truth, justice, and love. For Your name's sake, do not abandon us forever and, and do not allow your covenant accept us for our hearts are humble and our spirits contrite and, and those who trust in you shall, shall not be put to shame you have called us to a prophetic vocation in christ help, help us proclaim your mighty deeds At this time, let's take a moment of silence to lift up our prayers and petitions to our loving God and Father. Dear God, we lift up to you our prayers and petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Father, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we say, Fulfill, Fulfill the good work you have begun in us, Lord. Guiding our prayers and praises into one, we now pray the prayer your Son Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, fill our hearts with your love as morning fills the sky. By living your laws, may we have your peace in our life and endless joy in the life to come. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our morning prayer is done. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again, again tomorrow. tomorrow. Same, same time, same place, same channel. Have, Have a great day. day.